Let's get started by talking about integers and floats, or, well, just numbers. And I just covered them, but just as a recap, we are creating numbers either with integers or with floating point numbers. And again, the only difference between the two is decimal points for floating point numbers and integers are always full numbers. Again, the difference is because of how computers work, but you really don't have to worry about it. The most important thing for you is that all math operators work just as normal. Meaning if you add an integer and a floating point number, you are getting a floating point number. Let's have a look at some examples. And a really useful function to understand what data type you're working with is called type. If I write type and then add an integer, so a one in here, Python is going to tell me what data type I am working with. And again, we have to print the result so we can see something. If I run the code now, we are getting class and integer. What a class is, you're going to learn much later in this series. But the important thing for now is the integer. This is the kind of data type we are working with. If I change this one to a 1.1, then we are getting a float or a floating point value, which means you are working with different data types. You could also add a string in here. So a word, let's say a word that is horrible spelling, but you get the idea. And we have str for string. Let's stick to a one. Actually, we don't need to type at all anymore. Instead, what we can look at is the conversion between different data types. And for numbers, this is all automatic. In here, I could just type one plus one plus one, and we get 2.1. Since this does have a decimal point, we have a floating point value. Although if you didn't know this specifically, you would never notice. Although I guess sometimes this can be slightly weird. We have actually seen this very early on in this entire series. If you divide any number by another number, let's say 10 divided by five, I am going to get a floating point number, even though I wouldn't necessarily need it. And this always happens in Python. You can't really get around it. But that is basically all you have to know about numbers in Python in terms of data types. Python here is really flexible and makes all of this very easy, which does make it much easier than most other programming languages. I guess one thing we can cover as well is, let me add this on the next line, you can use functions to convert different data types. For example, let me print something again, and I have a integer, let's say two, and I really want to convert this integer into a floating point number. One way of doing this is to add 0, 0.0 to it. If I run this now, we get 2.0, although this isn't exactly elegant, so we're not going to use it. A better way would be to use a function that is called float, and float converts any kind of integer into a floating point value. If I run this now, we are getting the same result. You can see it's a float because we have a decimal. This would also work the other way around. Let me put this on the next line. If I print a number like, let's use something else, 5.1. If I want to convert this 5.1 into an integer, I could use the int function or int for integer. If I run this, I am only getting five. Because remember, integers are always full numbers. We do not have values after decimal, so we are losing some data. Also keep in mind, when you are using int, you are not rounding. The operation you are doing is truncating. And truncating means we are getting rid of anything after the decimal point. Which means if I had 5.9 and run all of this again, we are still getting five. If you wanted to round, you would use round, and then you are getting six. It would also return an integer because again, we don't have any decimal point. Now there's one thing that you do want to be really careful about, and that is that floating point numbers sometimes can get really weird, especially if you combine integers and floating point numbers. For example, if I print 1.1 times three, 
what we would be expecting here is 3.3. However, if I run the code, we are getting something really weird. 3.3 and then 0, a lot, and then a 3 at the end. Technically, this result is wrong. It resulted because floating point numbers are kind of weird in computers. Now, that being said, in most cases, this error here makes absolutely no difference because it's such a small deviation, you are never going to notice it. But do keep it in mind, you generally want to avoid floating point numbers because they can add some arithmetic errors once in a while. Generally, integers are much easier and much cleaner to work with. But obviously, sometimes you just have to use floating point numbers and then you can just use them. They work just fine in basically all circumstances.